Uh, this is from BibleGateway.com, KJV version of the Holy Scriptures, and it reads Matthew 24 through 6 through verse 8, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Verse 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Matthew 24 and 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bokar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say shalom to your Akim out there. And the title of the sit-down lesson is going to be uh, war, Wars and Rumors of Wars. Right, so we've definitely been seeing a increase of these uh, wars and rumors of wars. You know, for an example, you know, we, we've been seeing what's been going on as of lately with the uh, Russian-Ukraine situation. As I believe they uh another mi another uh missiles was launched in the area of Ukraine. I believe uh, eight people were killed and several others were injured. So that shows you that a prime example of wars and rumors of wars are heating up over there in that region with the Russian Ukraine situation. And we see what's going on with the uh South China Sea right along the Taiwan Strait as the tensions between Taiwan and the United States over Taiwan of China's potentially invading uh, Taiwan, you know, and and the representation of the United States on the conservative side, they was open up to the idea if there was going to be a potential invasion of uh, Taiwan by China, you know, the United States, they were saying they are you know, they opened up to the fact and willingly uh, deploy U.S. Army troops over there for a potential war with China. As we continue to see that starting to build up even more and more and more. So that's what you call a war of rumor. A war of rumors of wars, you know. And we see what's going on over there, uh, over there in the Korean Peninsula. You know, the uh, North Korea versus Japan and the United States and South Korea as well too as tensions over there is at an all time high as uh, North Korea have been firing off their missiles showing their uh, nuclear strength and their military capability against South Korea, Japan and the United States as Japan, South Korea and the United States show their military strength as well too with the latest military exercises Show that and that goes. He shows you right there another prime example of the wars and rumors of wars are heating up between these nations. And another example was going on with the Israel Palestine situation. Those tensions are going to continue to escalate over there as well, too. And we see what's going on down there in uh, East Congo. We see what's going on down there in uh, Sudan with the. Uh, clashes between two different organization factors you know so we definitely seeing that sedition we're definitely seeing that uh nation should rise against nation and that's what we're seeing in the latter days you know and it's definitely going to continue to increase more and more and more and we see what's going on with the uh belarus and russia together as allies going against nato we see in that situation as well too with the recent countries of Finland and Sweden joining NATO. And then you have the uh, border areas over there with the NATO of its allies and its armies stationed down there in that border, not too far from the uh, Russian army of their border. So tension is going to continue to escalate over there as well, too. So that's what you call a prime examples of a. Uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up. And I'm reading again. This is Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. 
See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, just like the uh, Iran versus Israel. You have a lot of tensions down there in the Middle East, throughout the parts of uh, eastern Iraq, the northeastern part of Syria, and the eastern part of Syria as well too, Damascus, Aleppo. As you see, continual uh, the Israeli Defense Force firing off rockets right along the uh, Damascus, Syria border, and Aleppo as well too, in the eastern Syria area. We have, like I mentioned again, the Israeli Defense Force firing off missiles in that area over there in Syria. The Iranian back, the pro Iranian back groups over there, those facilities, as the Israeli Defense Force firing off uh, missiles over there uh, non stop, continuously. So that shows you a prime example of the nation shall rise against nation right there. Is it, you know, it's uh, increasingly at an all time high. So you're going to have those increasing tensions and hostility between Iran and Israel. And it's going to continue to increase more and more and more. Because you have uh, the Palestinians are clicking up with the uh, organization of Hezbollah, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, you know. And the Palestinians, you know, they all clicking up together, you know. Especially with those recent attacks over there in the Israel-Palestine situation because you've been having uh, Hezbollah over there in Lebanon firing off missiles towards the southern border of Israel and throughout the West Bank and through the Gaza script as well too. So these nations have been firing off missiles at one another while you've been having the uh, recent raids, isolation attacks towards the Israelis by the resistance by the Palestinians. So we're definitely going to continue to see more escalations, clashes between these two different nations, you know. So that's what you call a prime example of, uh, just like I brought out Matthews 24 and 7, for nations shall rise against nation. And that's what we're seeing in the latter days. We're going to continue to see the increase of the uh, nation shall rise against nation in the latter days, you know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying as the title of this lesson was nation, I mean, uh, wars and rumors of wars. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waka Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely and shalom to the Hakim. Scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, Shalom. Oh, and once again, double honors to the elders, definitely for sure. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And once again, uh, Shalom.